there. I'm Amy Connell. Welcome to Graced Health, the podcast for women who want simple and grace-filled ways to take care of themselves and enjoy a little chocolate in the process. I'm a certified personal trainer and nutrition coach who wants you to know your eating, movement, and body don't have to be perfect. You just need to be able to do what you are called to do. This is the last in a series called Ask the Trainer, where I provide um, answers to questions you may have about your eating, movement, or how they work together in about five minutes. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going over on this one, and I apologize because today's question is, how can I prepare food for school, either home or online? And I may actually change the name of that question by the time this gets to be broadcast, but that's the gist of it. Let's just talk a little bit today about nutrition prepping for school online or at home. And I say that and I can hear like the sigh in my voice as I do that because I don't know about your schools. Ours are all online for, well, indefinitely. I don't know how long. they. I think they say three or four weeks, but who knows how long it's going to be. And I'm sitting here trying to figure out how am I going to make this work? So one of the things I have decided that here I go sighing again. (laughs) You guys, this is so overwhelming sometimes. What I've decided I'm going to do is have a lot of food available for breakfasts and for lunches. My kids have generally been fend for yourself on your own all summer, but there's a little bit difference in the summer than the school year. I want them to be um, well fueled. I want their brains to be well fed during the school year. So we are closing up shop at the fraternity house at the Connell House once school gets going and some of the junk that has been consumed, we are not going to be okay with once school starts. Now I realize that I have to help make that happen. This is not going to happen just by me saying it. So these are the things that I am going to be doing. I'm going to make some breakfasts ahead of time. And I actually, these are the recipes that I put in, um, I think I called them high protein breakfasts or breakfast on the go or something like that. I'll link to it in the show notes. But these are higher protein breakfasts that have a lot of nutrients and good stuff in it to keep my kids from being hungry while they're in school. Uh, This includes breakfast cookies, which is kind of a combination of oats and peanut butter and cocoa powder and flax seeds and honey. Those are the main ingredients for that. I have energy balls, which are a huge hit with my kids and their friends. For lunches, I will be cutting up vegetables they like, and I just put them all in one container so they can grab it. One of my kids is better than the others about grabbing those vegetables, but if you cut it, they will come. And I have a story that goes along with that that I will share at some point, but just getting them out and available or ready and available, they're a lot more likely to grab that kind of stuff. Same goes with the fruits, you know, cut up strawberries. And by the way, this is not something that I'm going to be doing on my own. I will be enlisting their help to help prepare it. And then they know that it's there too, because it'll stick with them a little bit more if they have helped prepare it. The other things I ha- I like to have on hand are uh, pre-cooked frozen burgers. So at my store, um, you can also get these at Costco. I've got frozen beef burgers, frozen turkey burgers, frozen chicken burgers or patties or whatever you want to call it. And then I get, uh, I like Nature's Own brand personally, but get whatever brand you like, the 100% whole wheat bun. So they can put that on there. They're getting the fiber with the wheat. They're getting the whole grain that's important. And then they're getting some protein to go along with that. Another thing I do is get a big thing of jerky at, again, at Costco. Uh, We like the turkey jerky at our house. Some people like the beef jerky, get whatever works for you, but that's a really great source of protein. And then I will parcel it out into snack size baggies so that way they can just grab something and eat it. Another option that I think is out there and worth considering and whether or not we do this, I don't know. Sometimes I have great ideas in my head that don't always get done, but consider just making a lunch the night before. Even if you are online school and everybody is at home, maybe make that lunch so they can grab it. They're not walking around going, mom, what can I have? And it's available there. And then you know that they have prepared something. Now, again, I'm not saying you need to do this. I mean, my kids are in high school. They don't 
they don't need mommy to be making their lunches. And if you're still making lunches for your kids in high school, number one, God bless you. Number two, let them do it. (laughs) It's a good learning experience for them. So, you know, that's another option. So those are some of the ways I am going to be nutrition prepping for school this year right now. I can generally keep these things going. This is for me, this is realistic. It's something that's sustainable, which I think is really important when you start to think about what can you do? Because if it would entailed like making a quiche and having that every week, mm, that's not going to happen for me. I'm just I'm just telling you right now, I don't do that, but maybe you do. And I would love it. And if you have one, share the recipe over on the Graced Health Podcast Facebook group. I would love to have that kind of stuff. But for me, I know that I can execute this well. Thank you for those of you who have rated and reviewed. I always appreciate it. We get back into our regular, um, regular programming, our typical episodes starting next week. I'm really excited to bring it to you. I have just a whole host of interviews and exceptional people and stories that I'm really excited to bring to you. So thanks for sticking with me during this Ask the Trainer series. My plan is to continue dropping Ask the Trainer questions on Thursdays and have regular episodes on Tuesdays. But I, um, I'm not positive. Like when we got talk about sustainability, is this sustainable for me? I don't know. So we're just going to see and we're going to experiment. And I want you to let me know what you think about this. Okay, that is it for today. Go out there and have a great day. Bye.